Oh, hey, hey guys, uh, Jerry Phoenix here. We're back. We back. Book club, pay back twenty dollars. Kindle Unlimited, three ninety nine, minus ninety nine. Kindle Digital, only ten dollars. That's half of the paperback. Can you give a rating if you enjoy it? Star rating. That doesn't mean write a review. If you write a review and give it a star rating. Shout you out like these lovely people down at the bottom here. Ratings matter. They bump me up thousands when they're high ratings. Thousands of rankings. Uh, yeah. You want to read the first five chapters free? That's available on scribblehub.com and Wattpad. Uh, if you want to support, I got a Patreon here. You want to you don't want to subscribe on Twitch, you get perks from the Patre Patreon, each team got its own perks. And then the higher you go up, you get the perks from other tiers as well. Um, and we got, we got, scroll down in the panels or look in the comments here, we got, we got a, a donation link too. If you don't want to do, if you don't want to subscribe or, or join the, the Patreon. Um, that's all the plugs I have. Let's get into it. Uh, I see Manny and C4 in here already. What up, guys? Only gonna be here for a short time. It'll be a fun short time, I'm sure. Well, I'm glad you can make it anyway. Welcome to the stream. Welcome back to the stream. Uh, just the title, Monday. Oh, I also finally got my YouTube channel back up to where the streams were. I didn't include my Mortal Kombat stuff because that was only 14 minutes and it kept cutting out. So that's not on my channel, but I actually deleted it from the stream. Bob's too. But um, Monday we'll be starting a consistent streaming uh, schedule um, starting Monday, June 1st. We will be streaming Outlast 2. Now, I didn't play the first Outlast, but I've seen people play the first Outlast. I know what happens, and I know. I think I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure I've seen somebody play two. I don't remember what happens in two. You know, it's something with a cult or something. But um, I've never played like a horror game by myself, like a solo horror game uh, in its entirety. I don't think I've ever played a horror game. Uh. Depending on the day, if my friends are available, they'll also join us on stream. They'll be I'm I'm gonna stream it directly from my PS4, but that'll they'll be um weighing in and, and talking to me, listening to me scream like a little hoe. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm not a I'm not a horror kind of guy, so you know. And then after Outlast 2, there's going to be a bunch of other games I already have queued up. They're downloading as we speak, actually. Um, Beyond Two Souls, Heavy Rain. Uh, one of my friends wants to see me play uh, Detroit Becoming Human. That's uh, downloading as well. Uh, Batman the Telltale series. Um, yeah, what else? I'm missing some other things. Oh, the Arkham series I promised to play. That'll be coming soon. As soon as I, I just need a consistent gaming thing, gaming schedule to get me into the, so we, so we have some, something to, uh, you know, we'll always have something to look forward to. So, um, Fridays will still be clear of, of streaming because I need at least one day off a week to, uh, separate myself from streaming as a whole. Um, but yeah, look forward, look forward to Monday. New content coming soon. Uh, how's it going? It's going pretty good, man. How are you? I'm gonna have to dim the lights for that one. Oh, I my I don't think. Maybe if I can get my game capture card back for my brother, I don't know if it's gonna work. But uh, I don't have a face cam connected to my PS4, so I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna work. Creating a character off stream. Oh, this is for... You guys don't know, I'm also part of a podcast. Um, 
where my friend and I analyze um, movies. I think he just released this one. The Boys. We just did The Boys. Uh, okay, season two started with uh, the decade recaps that everybody was doing. Then we continued. I think episode four was Shrek. And then we did a teaser for my book. 42. Oh, this is this is the interview. This is the teaser here. This was like where we were all playing a character from the book. I got a few people together. We got a few people together for that. Um, then an interview about what my process was with writing the book. Um, and then the one he just released last was The Boys, uh, where we talked about the, the Boys TV, the Amazon Prime exclusive. Um, yeah. I started be I was like a guest at first on here, but he uh, the co-hosts he had couldn't keep doing episodes as consistently, so uh, he still needed a co-host. So I I, I joined the um, joined the the podcast. I was on I was on the Infinity War one was my first one, and then I was also on. Uh, see, Infinity War is me. Endgame, uh, I was there. Three Act Structure, I was also there because it was all about screenwriting. Um, and then the recaps, I was on Shrek. Shrek is when, like I said, Shrek is when I became more of a, of a, um, I became the co-host for it. Um, shouts out to Ev. He, he edits and does all the website stuff. Um. But yeah, if you want to hear me talk more than not about writing, um, we have we have that. And then you know, also when I game, I'm not going to be talking about writing all that much. Um, but yeah, you can listen. It's on all sorts of platforms. All sorts of platforms. Uh, let me catch up here. Screens will be on my more authentic in the dark Ugh. probably probably uh it's going good been writing as usual planning a one character short film i think i already told you yeah the boys the boys the boys oh i cycled my comments off road, uh, which was exhausting. Oh, that's what's up. Cool. I got out today too. I walked around a little bit. Uh, right, well, I'm glad you guys used the stream to for creative time, like I do. I mean, if I wasn't using it for creative time, I don't know what the hell I'd be doing on stream. But uh, yeah, it's getting hot, isn't it, Manny? I was out. I was. Bro, it was hot. I'm going to have to put my ACs in. Like, I don't have, I have central heating. The heating goes all around the house, but the AC isn't set up that way. We need, like, the old-fashioned air conditioning units. And when summer comes around, we got to put it in all, uh, put, in, put it in certain windows. Um, so I think I'm going to need, I'm going to need that soon. It's like 77 outside where I am. Uh, and 76 in the house. I got fans all over right now. But, um, it's getting hot. Uh, would be riding, but the UK is in a heat wave or something. Oof. Grew up in England's thunderstorm years. Uh, not this other than some Doesn't England still have those? Isn't it known for being rainy? Right? London? All of that. All, all of England is just, it's just wet. 24-7 England, England is wet. Don't take that. Guys, don't take anything I say out of context. Gray, gray for days. Grays for days. Um, 
Uh, shoot. I don't know what exactly I want to do on stream. Maybe just share some things I've been working on. Uh, actually, I could pull this up. I'm working on a D and D campaign for my friends and I to play, and I'm thinking. Well, it's not. I'm thinking. I'm definitely gonna play it on stream for you guys to watch. It's gonna be four of us total. I'm gonna be the GM, and it's gonna take place in. This is a Marvel background, but um, it's gonna take place in the Disturbed Delinquent series, the one with the power system, the really complicated power system I gave, the virtue and recharging and all of that. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I don't really have anything. I don't know. The thing is, I don't know where to take the story right now. Like, the actual main story for Disturbed Delinquents, I already told you, is like the main characters taking down the CEOs and, and the underground villains and all that type of stuff. But, um. Yeah, for this, I know they're gonna. That's why this is a thing. I know they're going to start off in the classroom and they're going to be learning about the virtue system, essentially like the power system, and then they're going to take a, a physical test, and then it's going to be interrupted by the villain, and depending on their decisions, they might be able to fight the villain, they're definitely not going to be able to kill him, they might even get killed if they choose to fight him, or even say anything, and it, it's, it's, uh, I'm looking forward to building it, I just don't know what direction to take it just yet. Um, also world build uh, disturb delinquents disturb a little further uh, than what I have already I'm excited to make use of the train city trains uh, and the cities and the technology and all types of stuff um, I just gotta figure it out I'm not gonna I was considering writing on stream but right now I don't have any ideas for it just yet so I'm not gonna write it on stream today uh, I think we're going to get back into the Resistance Renaissance short story collection. Um, I, had, I had an idea for a character for that. Um, Pinterest. Pinterest is a good idea. Uh, good, good place to, not sponsored or anything, but it's a good place to get ideas. Just looking at all sorts of character designs and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, really, really helpful with any story you might be writing um but there's tons of art you know you know you, it's scrolling forever and there's related things under the some the picture you click and all that sort sort of thing i didn't think i'd ever be using print pinterest but i use it for um for poses and uh well, the character design inspirations um so yeah uh here's here's something i just i'll share real quick uh, momentum bat. This is gonna be somebody's weapon in the, in the. Oh shoot! Itachi with the raid, bro. That's what's up. Party of four. What up, raiders? What up to the up? Oh, there's more. Oh, spent. Oh god, I'm so sorry, Itachi. Nightbot has a mind of its own, bro. We got Nightbot though. I, I'm so. I'm, oh god. Nightbot, cut it out. Stop that. Welcome to the stream, guys. Uh, wait. Uh, is that black text? I assume that's LK. Is that you, LK? Wait, he has no hoodie. To yeah, that's definitely LK. Yeah. Yeah, I have no hoodie. It's very hot. That's why. If it weren't hot, I'd be, I'd be wearing a hoodie right now. I'd be wearing two hoodies. You don't, you don't know me. Um... Wait, let me catch up up here. Yeah, I want the rainy times. Uh, but it's... Tw Jesus! Oh, wait. Celsius. 27 degrees Celsius this week. It's just too hot. I'm sorry I'm American. I'm, I'm so sorry. I love watching uh, College Humor's D&D. Never played and don't understand the rules or anything. Yeah, no. The way I play... We play D&D. We're kind of just making our own stuff. It's just fun to do... Make decisions as far as role-playing goes. Um... I can open it real quick again. My, uh, so tonight I'm excited to get back into my, my, one of my, like my friend, one of my friend circles were all like writers. So one of them wrote a, uh, Star Wars campaign it has like 20 chapters. We're on chapter 12. I'm role playing as a Sith. 
and the other two I'm playing with are playing as Jedi, and you know the the power up system works with uh, like you can decide whether you want to at like level five if you up if you upgrade your force um, when you get to level five in force you can choose whether you want to do Jedi heal or force choke me being a Sith I went with force choke and then at uh, level nine it's force lightning or force I think it's Jedi Mind Trick is the other one. Um, but yeah, it's really fun stuff. And I'm using his because I, I can't wait to play it every time like we decide the previous day to play it the next day. Um, I'm using his as, he probably already knows, I'm using his as a basis to build my own for my, well, my made up world with the, the whole power system and everything. Um... And then after the Star Wars one, we're going to be doing a Hunter x Hunter, which is an anime, Hunter x Hunter, uh, D&D that my other writing friend made, um, and he seems to be having a real fun time building it. I'm a little worried about how complicated the power system thing is going to work out, the combat system. Um, that's why I prefer mine to be a little more simplified, um, but yeah, we're, we're doing these two off stream, and when I, once I get mine finished... If my friends don't mind, they don't seem to mind whenever they're on stream. I always make sure before. But um, whenever I get my story done, I just need to come up with an actual story. I have the world, pretty much. I just need a story for them to follow. Um, but, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, doing that. And once I start having ideas for this, I'll definitely be developing them on stream. Um, on and off stream. Uh... Momentum bat. This was a weapon I came up with one night when I was supposed to be sleeping. What else? What else can you come up with ideas in the shower? Always when you're supposed to be doing something else, like washing your ass or sleeping. You know, I come up with some crazy ideas. So this is, I mentioned controllers before. Controllers is one of the classes in the, uh, in my disturbed world. Um... And it's where they create a weapon that can't be replicated anywhere else in any timeline or anything like that for themselves, but it does something special. It's not just going to be a sword. And that's it. Like, no. Um, so this character, Pit, uh, Piddle, from Centripetal. Piddle, Centripetal. I know that's not how you spell it. It's Petal. But um, his weapon it gains more stored power for the next attack the more it's swung around so if he's just like swinging it around like a lunatic uh, the next time it makes contact with something solid it's gonna have that much more power so it's like a wind-up um, here's the wind-up and the swing get it because it's a bat um, so that was um, I don't know why I'm, I'm just sharing that um, I was building a character for the st was it what the hell? Wait, 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 wait. I'm so sorry. I I got lost in my train of thought. Um, come on, baby. Hoodie is a uh, health risk right now. Is it? Is it because it's too hot? You gonna faint? Dude, I wore a hoodie outside one time. I think it was a fire grill. And I had on a red, bright red hoodie. And it was baking outside. I had jeans. My legs were sweating and I was sweating. But people were, and people were asking me, dude, aren't you hot in that? I'm like, hell no. Even though I was, I just didn't want to take the hoodie off and show that I was hot. So I kind of stuck to my guns, stupidly enough. Uh, wait, you're D&D &D nerd too? Damn, I am so alone. Uh, wait, do you not play D&D, okay? I, I just recently started playing it. There was one we, like, play tested a little bit. That The one that's creating the Hunter Hunter D&D &D thing uh, made. We were play testing. We're not playing, like, traditional D&D &D with goblins and wizards and dragons and maidens. Wait, winch. Not that D and D. We're playing all sorts of other types of D and D. Uh, we had a playtest one where 
Um, it was like a gem ep epidemic. Like gems fell from the sky. You pick one up, you get a superpower essentially. Um, and then the villains he started to add to that playtest one were just villains from this anime, and it was like, bro. Now it's just Hunter Hunter, and it's like, well, and then we never finished that. I don't think we ever will, because there wasn't an ending in sight. Um, but yeah, I just recently started playing it. This Star Wars one that my other friend made wrote uh, just is the second one we're playing. But like I said, I'm I'm really excited to continue it because it's it's so fun effing around and doing things that the D, the DM isn't expecting, and He's the type to plan out all sorts of things. And, like, he... Because I I think... I like to think, me as a person, I am very, very chaotic neutral. So, especially when I play games, I'm more for myself than I am saving any of the NPCs. I will kill any NPC if I want to. But, um... That might be a chaotic evil. Normally I don't. If they if I feel they deserve it, I definitely do it. Um But he has he's made laid out so many options and paths just in case I decide to kill a certain character and I'm not doing that because I'm trying to be a good character for this playthrough. Um and he's like, damn, I love the decisions you're making, you know, you're being really smart with this, but I expect you to be killing way more people than you are right now. And it's like, yeah, but the way I'm killing the people I am killing, pretty much the same thing, right? No. Um, uh, it's not really locked down where you are. Uh, kind of a res residential town where everything is essential. Oh, okay. Industrial park slash suburb where nothing is essential. It's a ghost town. Uh, shit, I've got a scare I have, a good stream. Oh, shit, okay, uh, uh, see you later, man. So are you trying to deny that you're a nerd? Oh, no, I'm a nerd for life, bro. I've been a nerd. Are you trying to say you're a super nerd? Yes. Yes. Yes, we all are. All, all, every, everybody's a nerd. We're all a nerd at something. Nerd just means you're really... No, is that geek? I always get the damn too confused. I think it's geek when you're really focused on... Like, you really know a lot about one thing. Like, car... Oh, you're, you're a car geek. Or is that nerd? I don't... I don't remember the difference. I always forget. Sometimes I look it up and the definition freaking switches on me, bro. I swear. I swear it switches all the time. The definition, it, it it's never just one def. It, it switches. It hops back and forth on purpose. It, it knows when I'm looking it up. And it's like, oh, oh, Jelani's looking us up? Hey, a, a, a nerd definition. Yo, what up? Jelani's looking us up. It's time to switch, bro. Ha. And then they switch. Every time. Every time. Uh, I'm proud of you for coming out. Uh, she's telling you. Yeah. I mean, my dad's in my life. If you want to know that, he's sometimes on stream. So, uh, I'm a league player, so I say some really, uh, to make the enemy rage quit. You, you want me to rage quit my stream? Oh, 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 God, oh. No, don't. Oh. I'm not going to read quick the screen, though. So I'm up here on my news feed. Oh, that's unfortunate. But let's get back. Enough about D&D &D and not writing for half the stream already. Um, let's get into some... Some story writing. Uh, I'm creating an assassin. I don't really have any mystery characters. 
like a lot of the characters I created started off like that, like, oh, they're mystery. Nobody knows where they come from. Are they even human? We don't know. They're always wearing a mask. And almost none of the characters are like that now. Um, oh, God. Get away from me. Yeah. I'm going to get some bug spray. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to kill it. God, I don't see it anymore. If it comes around these parts again, he's finished. He's, he's finished. I'm going to keep this right next to me. I don't even know how we got in here. Is my window open? Oh, shoot. I think it is. Whatever. All right, let's get back to writing. I don't like bugs. Terrified. And these spiders aren't doing their damn jobs. They're over here trying to pay rent. And they ain't never... They got nothing on their webs. But, mystery characters. So, um, he's... He's a mystery character. Um... He's ethnicity, race, type, whatever. It's unknown. His real name is unknown. He's chaotic neutral. He has telekinesis and tactile, tactile telekinesis. Uh, his sword is based on a katana. He never calls it a katana because that would mean it's a human weapon. Uh, called genocidal plague. Or he just calls it Yeni. Probably something to do with poison. I didn't decide that, but I just thought the name was really edgy. Because he's kind of an edgy character, but he's also kind of an asshole. And that's in his personality traits down here. But we'll get there in a second. Uh, so he starts off as a resistance villain. He's going to be in... I don't know whose story, whose solo... He might be in a solo story, but I'm not sure whose solo story I want to put him in out of the five... I have a story already planned for Desolate, who is the non-feeling cyborg of the group. Where is it? Where, where? Oh, Cindy. I don't have a document playing their stories out. Hang on. Second one is Raven. Raven. Revo. Let's put Dex. And Revo. 
versus uh, Rapture. Then third, it's probably going to be Dex's story. I don't have anything planned for Dex. Sidewind is probably going to be fourth. Desolate fifth. Desolate and Killer Girl character versus probably military. Not really sure yet. Um, Could be during Dex's story. Because I feel like Sidewinds and uh, Titans personalities would kind of clash a little bit. Which would be a good thing because they're on opposite sides of whatever the hell this is. But like they're kind of similar in personality but also different. Sidewind is trying to change as far as like easily being able to kill people. Well, not bad guys, but he's just trying to change in general. He's based off of a a soldier's his AI is based off of this of a ex killed KIA soldier um, that had the same attitude of pretty much being a cocky asshole. But um, Raven is a no, not Raven. Titan is kind of similar, but. He's also good at what he does, and he enjoys what he does, so, yeah. So he's probably going to be in Dex's story. Um, the only problem is Dex wouldn't really be able to fight him, because Dex is a pacifist. Um, so it has to be Dex and somebody versus Titan. Mm, let's go back to this. Um, so he starts off with a resistant villain, but the more they find out about his backstory, the more they question if he's human. There's nothing to prove that he is, and nothing to prove that he isn't. So what they confirm in the story they're introduced to him is he trained on the Risen Ronin, which is the same guy, the same being that trained uh, Arid, and taught him about his reflexes and all that. Um, He's been in space several times. That's confirmed as well. Um, and through him being in space, he has worked under Monolon, the conqueror of planets. Uh, and uh, it was, uh, Kane, it should be up here. He's a literal space pirate. Um, who else deserves to be on this list? Anybody that's not... Um, Anyone that's not the Space Police, the Galactic Guard, or Special Guard. Um, we'll figure it out later. While on Captain Cannon was even hired by the gods, the Nebula Dragons. Well, one set of gods. Um, honor, the, honor, the unanswered question is how someone that is supposedly human receives such notoriety across the galaxy by all sorts of beings. I'd give you the answer to that question, but it's an unanswered question. And his pers personality is a uh, cocky, cunning, bit of an asshole. Kind of coincides with cocky, but he's a bit of an asshole. Um, so that's Titan. Excited to design him. Rapture is the villain for uh, Raven's short story, the one we're writing, planning out now. Uh, Muhammad Ali Legend. Thank you for the... Why the hell are the notifications not showing up on the damn screen? Thank you for the follow, my friend. We are one person away to the follower goal, thanks to you. What's up? How's it going? We're writing some 
I'm writing some stories, some short stories. Um, let me see if I can change the Twitch alerts thing. I don't see anything about sound here. No, this the screen. That's what I'm trying to. I know why I can't hear it. I just don't know why it's not showing up on the screen. Duration. Official. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. So. Oh, Dave? Uh, really good. I want your reaction. I really appreciate it. Uh, not on stream. Because this is going to be uploaded to YouTube. And I don't want copyright strikes. I've been playing non-copyright music. And, um, and they, they've muted that. So I, I don't. I know Dave though, I think I, uh, what was that one song I heard, with the cars, and they were like, God, Stratum, I think I heard that one, was that what it was called? I don't remember exactly, alright, where's Ravens, close that. It's the story itself. Let's go to the beats. Figure out where the hell we're going next. Okay, in the car. Wait, both Raven and Urza exit the finest is true, and Raven asks what the hell Regal is doing. Regal argues and defends that the guard is pinned down, touched him perfectly. Raven sighs and looks at Locos. And Urza, Urza calls their guards off, and Regal gets, uh, let's go to the guard. He pins. Urza gives Raven information on Rapture for the trouble. Car, we, uh, and information Urza gave Raven leads the three to a. Uh, library not a military base he's not that advanced it's a pretty common level drug lord of rapture maybe to a restaurant but we did a restaurant in uh, Anti's short story the captivity one I don't want to keep doing restaurants. Library would do, be different. Let me look at the... Um, where is it? The revamped. Because I have plans for some other places. This is for Alien Planet, but um, it's impossible. Oh, where is it? List of places. Location ideas here. Uh, park, cardio service, uh, hospital, no, be able to find a hospital. Maybe they visit somebody in the hospital. That's different than what I've ever done in the past. Visit somebody in the hospital and pretty much interrogate them for information. That might be different. Kind of like it. Um, no, we already did a church and anti-story as well. A bank? No, that's very on the nose. I like the hospital idea. Yes. I wonder where that bug went, bro. That freaks me out. That it was here and now I can't hear it. And now I don't know if it's in my house or not. It's crazy.
All right, so we're going to do Lisa 32A. Say Haven City Hospital. They were given info how to find uh, a person that's been put in the hospital by rapture from this person we should be able to get a description of him like cops the only problem being they are not cops so they have to find a creative way to get to this witness's hospital. Um, um, There's a very easy way to go about this. They could try going through the front door. Um, and if that doesn't work, they can try going through the front door to pose, posing as cops. And when that doesn't work, Regal just teleports Raven up to Because I don't want everything to be like brutally easy for them. So I want them to fail at least a little bit in doing this. Um, they try straightforward approach pose as cops with the help of Dex's printing skills to forge a badge forge badges station uh, gets suspicious of them because she's seen Regal's face before uh, she starts to search through the hero app but when she looks up, the three of them are gone. Regal teleports the both of them. Uh, the three of them are gone. As the entire time, Dex was remotely hacking into their system to find out which room the witness is in. You teleports both of them to the proper room and floor without alerting the guards outside of the door see cops on the outside of the door um, the witness goes to screen but Raven covers his mouth and calms him down talking to him and 
getting the I'm not gonna explain how it gets the information how she gets the information out now, but um we'll improvise it when we get there. It's gonna be like a back and forth and you know, personalities clashing and all that. Um I'm getting the information on Rapture that they need. When the nurse finally found you on the Hero app, she alerted the cops outside the witness's door and the cops bust in the room opening fire on the trio but Regal gets them out of there the cop that opened fire communicates Ooh, twist to rapture that they got away. Rapture tells the cop not to worry because they have information. And in turn, can use the information we found from the hero app. No, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Hmm. think how should they meet Rapture tells the got away, but he killed the witness. I wonder if this goon should be Titan. I wonder. No, I feel like Titan would get the job done. I would have an easier time with this. Regal 
teleports Raven and Dex to the fastest place he could think of. Arc base. Here are the arcs ask if everything okay. Regal assures them he's handling it and teleports. No, back to, uh, back to their hideout. Back to the hideout. No one is there. And the place is. is raided by Rapture's goons. How did they find them? A bullet did hit the eagle, except it was a tracker. I don't know how the hell they're going to get to the place so fast. Maybe they should, like, calm down for a few minutes. Scrappy. He never said he missed, he just said they got away, didn't he? Taunting them all, and letting them know he can teleport out of the cuffs. But before he even finishes.
bullet, another bullet, a raven, and she falls before Eagle's eyes, causing Eagle to transform into God, what was was it just Dark Regal? No, uh, ri was it Risen Regal? Forgot. No, Radiant Regal was the other one. his gun closer to Raven's head, threatening to finish her. Raven mouths to Regal that she's okay. I'm just improvising all of this, but I need a reason as to why she had something there to protect her. I think her suit does that though. Her suit should be able to take something like that. If it doesn't, I should make it like that. Sweet kicks. Rapture. Oh, it's nine one. Whoops. Letting the gun fall from his hands. And before the gun even falls to the floor. Dark Regal kills every goon in the room, leaving Rapture alive. Dex takes Rapture's cell phone and goes through his list of contacts to find one else in the city similar. over 
capture leads uh, frames. Four is a life. And we then comments about um, Raven comments about Rapture even stealing her set a uh, sweet revenge kill. Shoots him anyway. Sidewind, arid, and desolate. Come through the door. The groceries and drop their bags. Disappointed at the mess they're gonna have to clean up. Wrong bag. Wrong there. Whoops. All right. Alright, I did not expect the story to go on that long, but all improv. Um, probably going to fix it, or we might not. I kind of like where this went because I didn't write, I haven't written a story like this. Like this, meaning any sort of events that happen here. Um, so yeah, looking forward to writing this one very soon, probably starting tomorrow, if I don't come up with anything before then. Um, but yeah, this, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to try and stay consistent with the uploading. I'm going to upload this as soon as I'm done streaming here. But book plug. I'm going to end the stream. Uh, if you want to support, Patreon. Uh, yeah, I got a Patreon there. Now if you want to donate, you got to donate down there in the comments and in the panels. Uh, if you want to read the first five chapters of Descended, uh, Awakening, that's on ScribbleHub and Wattpad for free. Uh, and buy my book. Paperback, $20. Kindle Unlimited, free 99 minus 99. Kindle Digital, $10. Give it five stars if you can. Appreciate it if you did. You give it five stars and a review. Your boy shouts you out like these lovely people down here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And YouTube is probably going to see this the same day for once. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see everybody back here tomorrow, Sunday, from 8 to 9 p.m. And then Monday from 8 to 9 p.m. And then 9 to either 10, 10, 30, or 11. I have to decide. But thank you guys so much for watching again. And this is JBS Phoenix. Oh, wait. In the street. All right. JBS Phoenix, once again. Sorry.